What's up, guys? Mel here from Seth Side Boy Style. I was out in the garage. I was doing some work, and I went to put my battery on charge, and the battery was completely dead. It's my 20 volt DeWalt battery. I've had these batteries now for six, seven years, the 20 volt DeWalt, and a couple of times what has happened to me is is that the battery goes completely dead and I put it on the charger and nothing happens. All I get is just nothing. I'll put a bunch of screen for you, nothing. So off camera, because I've had to do this a few times, off camera, I was going to do my little trick with my 20 volt batteries to jolt some juice back into it to give it some life to be able to take charge from the actual DeWalt charger. Now, from what I've seen online is you can do this with most any battery uh, uh, for, for whatever, but I've only done it with the DeWalt batteries. I haven't done it with no other batteries and it works. I've seen a few videos of guys doing this and listen, if, if they're cheating it, I don't know. But I can assure you in this video, you're not going to see any glitches or any editing when it comes to the point of, I'll edit all kinds of things here now. But when it comes to the actual, what I'm doing with the batteries, there won't be no editing. There won't be no glitches in the camera. It's going to be straight and true and the way it is. Okay. And as I said, I was going to do this off camera. I was just going to do it like normal and continue on working on the GMCC hour, which you guys should take a look back in the videos and see all the work I'm doing with that truck. Box is stripped off, rocker panels is cut out, cab corners is cut out. I'm rebuilding it. But anyway, I thought to myself, well, if this is something I know, and basically just this channel I created here, South Side Boy Style, is about showing you guys easier way about things, so it's not costing you all the money. Um, so it's not costing you a lot of money. So I decided, well, you know what? I'm going to stop everything I'm doing and I'm going to make just a separate video and show you guys what I do and how I do it. And uh, I'll explain everything as I'm going through it so you guys can see. And welcome to my laundry room, okay? Listen, it's the only part of my house that's not finished is my laundry room. But it's a laundry room. It's where you wash your clothes. This stuff all gets clean here. My funky shirts, all my clothes gets clean here in this laundry room. So anyway, guys, I'm going to jump right into this now, okay? And I'm going to show you the what's what. So right here, you have my DeWalt charger right here. And you have my two 20-volt batteries. They're two 20-volt DeWalt batteries. And the one battery, this one here, is dead. Completely dead. It won't take charge from the charger this one is okay okay so i'm going to show you what it is if you let me get it up to the camera and let me get it zoomed in on the battery if you look at the battery you'll see that there is a b plus and a b negative okay if you look right there you'll see it b plus and b negative it's the same thing on both batteries okay B plus, well, let me put it right away for you guys so it's not tricking with you, but you can see it's B plus and B negative on both batteries. Okay, so what I've learned over the years is what this is, and listen, I had to learn this like you guys. I didn't stumble upon this and figure out how to do this. I, I learned it on YouTube, and I'm just going to show you guys now what it is. So I got my wire snippers. And I'm just using ordinary wire, guys. I mean, this is just a spool of wire I had. You can use whatever you want, but this is what I'm using, okay? And I'm just going to cut off a couple of lengths of it. And two lengths because you need for the both batteries. So I'm going to cut off two lengths of it. Maybe it should be a bit longer with this one. I'm showing you guys everything, even cutting the wires, even trimming the wires, okay? Because I don't want you to think that there's any trickery. And before I begin, I'm going to show you this, this battery here. You'll watch this light. This battery has 
power. Now, you can watch that light and you can see that the light is blinking, okay? So I'm gonna take this battery off and I'm gonna plug this battery in and you're gonna see that it's not, what it is is it's the charger has to, this battery has to have enough juice in it for this charger to detect that the battery is even on it. This, this is what I found out on the internet, okay? Okay, so this this battery has to have just a little bit of juice for this charger to detect that there's a battery even on it. But the battery is completely shot dead. So, again, I'll put this battery on. And this battery is taking charge. Now, so... Let's get back to it, guys. I don't know if you guys are seeing this 100%, but I know you're seeing 100%, but I just want to make sure you guys can see the terminals. Um, yeah, you can. So I'm going to skim these wires. And, you know, as I said, guys, I'm doing this so there's no trickery at all. I, you know, I've done this two times in the in the six seven years I've had these batteries. I've had to do this two times with the one battery. I'm not sure which battery. I don't know if it's the same battery to do it. I don't know. It, it just happened to me twice with these batteries. So I got one wire stripped out. I'm just gonna twist the wire. And what I'm going to do is, guys, now, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to go to the B negative side. Just just push the wire in is all you have to do. So it's getting a connection. Sometimes it's a little bit funky to get it to go in there, but it will work. And do the same thing on this side for the B negative. And sometimes, like I said, it's a little bit... Uh, uh, difficult to get it to get the connection, but it do work. I gotta make sure I got this wire long enough, guys. Yeah, it should do it. So now I'm gonna skim this wire and get that out of the way. Now, again, I'm gonna twist the wires. And I'm going to put this one on the positive side. And you got to nip it in there. Like, just look at it when you're doing it. Make sure it's going into those connections, okay? Let's bring this a little bit closer. And put that one on the positive side. So they're connected now, okay? Leave it for two or three minutes. Obviously, guys, I'm, we're not going to wait for two or three minutes, okay? So I'm just going to glitch it. I'm just going to edit it and let the two or three minutes go by and then I'm going to come back and I'm take the wires off. And I'm telling you, this works. This works. And when I first saw this, I was like, really? Like, is, is this actually going to work? And when I tried it, I was like, what? I mean, these batteries like here in Canada are like a hundred and between 130 and 160 bucks, depending on where you are. Right. So, I mean, like I would have bought a new battery. I would have said, oh, well, whatever. Okay. But now, I'm gonna, I'm going to just reset the camera and the two or three minutes will be up, okay? Okay, so the two or three minutes is up and I'm gonna take the wires off. One thing I wanna just say, like when it comes to these wires, I noticed they're just a little bit warm now, just a little bit warm, little bit warmer than what they are when I first tried it. Now. Guys, there's, you know, I'm showing you this straight out right in front of you, so watch. I'm gonna put this battery, this is the battery that wasn't getting no charge. I'm gonna put it on and see. Look, the red light is blinking. And now I'll take it off and I'll put this battery on. This is the battery I used to just put the jolt in the other, in this battery. And that battery is working. 
So guys, bring this in a bit closer and I'm gonna do it again, just to show you. I'm gonna switch the batteries again, okay? And I'll bring it a little bit closer to you right here. So you see this battery is charging and and this battery is charging. You see that guys? Now, now also guys, it works on the smaller batteries too. So, you know, the, the smaller 12 volt batteries for the 12 volt drill, it works on those too. Now, I don't have these the issue with these batteries, so there's no point in me doing it with these batteries, but it's still the same thing. It has the uh, plus and the negative, and it's the same situation. It's just these are the 12 volt. The other ones I did was the, tw the 20 volts. And back to other camera. And I'll plug this 20 volt drill in my impact drill into the battery now and show you works. And guys, if you notice, I kept this one on the charger a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure it had enough juice in it at the time to power the drill. <laughs> All right, so that was that. So from what I've learned, you can do it with the 20 volts, the 12 volts, Ryobi, whatever, whatever, as long as you know, you can indicate what is the positive and what is the negative on the actual connections on the battery, right? So, so guys, I would have tossed the battery. I would have tossed this battery out and I would have bought a new battery. Are these batteries getting bad? I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are because they lose charge faster than when I first bought them. They're six, seven years old anyways. But I mean, I know now I can get good use out of this battery and, and you know, last me uh, a couple hours on the on the impact drill or sometimes I use my saw, sometimes I use my my uh, orbital one, my orbital sander, whatever, whatever. I get good use out of the battery. I know they're not brand new, right? I just had to jolt it to get it to go. So, I mean, obviously the battery is, when it dies, it completely, sometimes just completely gone but i figured you know what make a video and show you guys what i do to make those batteries come back to life and everything that i could find out and i'm saying this again everything that i could find out about the actual charger is that the charger needs to detect a little bit of juice from these batteries to be able to send a charge to them and when they completely completely die there is no signal between the battery and the charger, but by connecting the two batteries, but by connecting these two batteries, you get that little jolt that I guess just throws a little bit of juice in it enough so this one can get the signal or send a signal or whatever it does, okay? What, or whatever it does. So guys, two pieces of wire, any kind of wire. I just used what I had there, which was this spool. And you can just connect on the B positive to the B positive and the B negative to the B negative. And that's it. Wait two or three minutes, long enough that you figure, you know, a little bit of juice went in there. And there you go, that's it. Now, also guys, it works on the smaller batteries too. So, you know, the, the smaller 12 volt batteries for the 12 volt drill, it works on those too. Now, I don't have these the issue with these batteries, so there's no point in me doing it with these batteries, but it's still the same thing. It has the uh, plus and the negative, and it's the same situation. It's just these are the 12 volt. The other ones I did was the, tw the 20 volts. I'm just gonna go out and get back to work with my charge battery. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all of you, each and every one of you. Thanks for the new subscribers. I always say that. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments, whether they're negative or bad. I accept them all. And I'll see you on the next one. I keep my suits in my closet, just, just to tell you, okay? I hang my suits in the closet on the back of the door. Listen, I'm a car guy. I'm not good at designing things in the house.